Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. How to create TikTok lead gen ads. Creating TikTok lead generation ads involves a series of steps. From setting up your TikTok ads manager account to designing and launching your lead generation campaign. Here's a detailed guide to help you create effective TikTok lead gen ads. So we're inside the TikTok ads dashboard under the campaigns tab. All we're going to do is click create to create a brand new lead gen campaign. Now you can run conversion-based lead generation campaigns, and that is a campaign objective right inside built into TikTok ads. So we're just going to click that, and now we're taken into the campaign settings. And I'm just going to name this a test name. Obviously, use the proper nomenclature to kind of distinguish what your campaign name is going to be about. So let's quickly talk about some of the other settings. Campaign budget optimization because this is a brand new ad account, there's not a lot of data. So I'm not going to turn it on. However, if you're somebody that has been running TikTok ads for a while, your account has a lot of data, the TikTok algorithms know what to optimize for, I suggest testing this because in the long run, it can save you money. But because this is a brand new ad account, I'm not going to turn on campaign budget optimization. I'm going to set my campaign ad budget on the campaign level itself and with a daily total budget of 50 bucks a day. And we should be good to go. Now we're taken into the ad group level. Now you can name the ad group, whatever you want. What I recommend is that you actually take a lot of your targeting parameters and then you name it based on those. So the next thing we're going to have to decide is the optimization location. Now you have two options. You have sending people to a website where they have to fill out a lead form on your website or an instant form. What I recommend is that you split test both. But for the purposes of this video, I highly recommend that you go with instant form. This is the built-in form that comes in on Instagram, the actual app that people can interact with. Now, this has been split tested and it does convert really, really well. And this is the whole secret sauce to making lead gen campaigns work on TikTok a lot more effectively. What we have found though is that the cost for instant forms is going to be a lot lower. So a lead will cost a lot lower on your instant form, but it won't be as high intent as your website. So this is one of those things. If you're spending a lot of money, split test this. Maybe run both types of campaigns. What you will see is, yes, leads come in for a lot cheaper on instant forms. But sometimes, because they aren't taken to your website, they tend to convert into paying customers less. But it is a math equation, which you're going to have to figure out for your specific business. Let's say you're getting instant form leads for half the price, but only 1% are converting less. Meaning, you're still profiting a lot more from instant form, run instant form campaigns. However, if you're finding that your website, the leads are coming in at about the same price and they're converting better, obviously, then go with the website, right? But for our case, let's just go with instant forms. In terms of placements, we're just going to leave TikTok and we can leave these user comments and video download options available. Next up, we have targeting. For the purposes of today's video, I'm just going to go with an interest-based target. Let's say you are a coach that is trying to get leads for golfing. Maybe you're a golfing coach. So you want to help people work on their swings. If you need that help, this would be something you would go sign up for. So go under sports and outdoors. Maybe somebody that's into golf equipment. This is going to be your audience that you're going to run lead ads for. Devices, I'm just going to leave it as is in terms of budgeting and bidding optimization. So budget, we already set in the ad campaign level, no date parting. And then in terms of bidding, we're going to keep it at lowest cost. Now we're on the ad page. And this is where you're going to be uploading your actual ad creative. What I recommend is that you actually do run Spark ads. Basically, we're going to let TikTok beta test all of our creatives, pick ones that have the most engagement, and run those as ads. And again, you want to be testing out a lot of this different creative. But now let's just quickly scroll down and then come down to the destination, which is going to be our TikTok instant form. So when somebody clicks on your ad, they're going to be taking to what TikTok calls instant form. And we're just going to be creating a brand new one. And you definitely want to be checking off the advanced form because it gives you a lot more options in terms of functionality. Let's set one up to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Again, this is one of those things that you kind of want to test. But for most beginners, what I recommend is that you do more volume in terms of color schemes. What I recommend is that you do a custom color scheme to something that is closer to your brand colors. Then we can go down into some of the additional settings. Right, so we can go into the banner, update our logo. And then in the headline, you actually want to restate the promise of your ad. So let's say that your lead gen ad is offering like 10% off or a free lead magnet for somebody to submit their information. Put that inside of your headline itself. Then you can also have another sentence in the promotional, right? So fill out now for 20% off. And this can be our headline. And then inside our questions, we have our predetermined questions. You can choose from a lot of different parameters that they have. 
So phone number, email, name, those are going to be your standard ones. You can also have custom questions. So let's say, what is your golf handicap? And then people can put in their answers. Again, what I recommend is that you actually limit the number of questions to less than eight, because any more than that, we see that lead intent drops, conversion rates drop. If you're having trouble getting all of the information, what we recommend is getting that additional information in this tab after when you kind of contact that lead and nurture that lead. So for now, we're just going to leave it as is. And we're going to come down into the privacy section. In order to run these privacy campaigns, you actually need to link your privacy policy. And what I recommend is that your business should have a privacy policy on their website. Just you can take that URL and paste it here. So you can go in, put in your privacy policy, and that's pretty much it. Then once you've put into your privacy policy, you're going to be taken to the customized section where you can add additional text and images. What I recommend is that if you have any sort of final scarcity incentives, so limited spots only or three more people only, things like that, add that here. And then finally, you're going to be taken to your thank you screen where basically it's going to be a thank you response when people submit the ad. What I highly recommend is that you actually try and get people off of TikTok and get them to interact with your business. So what you're going to do is in the call to action button, visit your website. And then what I recommend is that if you're setting appointments, that they confirm the appointment on your website. And then you can make the URL button text as something like confirm session or finalize form or something that actually takes them off of the website or gives them more information about the actual offer. We've customized everything and now we can complete the form. That's pretty much it in terms of how you set up your forms. Once your form is submitted and there's no errors, all you're going to want to do is hit submit and your campaigns are going to be live. For the purposes of our video, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So let's just say you've hit publish and now your campaign is live. There's going to be two ways that you're going to be actually able to see how the leads come in. So one way is if you connect it to your CRM, which I highly recommend. The second is going to be when you come in and all of your leads are going to populate under your tools and leads and you can download them as CSV every single day. I highly recommend that you connect with a CRM. All of the big popular ones are here. And that's it. By following these steps and continuously optimizing your campaign, you can create effective TikTok lead generation ads that help you gather valuable leads for your business. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Make cold emails easy. Run perfectly designed, killer cold email campaign that turn leads into buyers fast. The only legit way to do cold email marketing, anti-spam marketing system, custom customer journeys, reach cold leads with confidence. Pursue app makes it easy to run successful cold email campaigns for any business. Online SaaS works in any location in any device. Supports multiple campaigns. You can market multiple products or businesses. Create custom emails to be sent on event triggers like open, clicks, etc. Free one ready-made email sequence to help you get started. Easy to use and newbie friendly. And a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Get Pursue App now. Just go to getpursueapp.in and you're good to go. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I hope you find this video helpful. And thanks for watching.